today we're checking out all the beauty of downtown Miami and then we're headed inside for a tour of a gorgeous townhome designed by Jay Brito of Brito Charette. It's his own personal home so it's going to be an extra special treat to see how a designer designs their own space. Hi, my name is Jay Brito. I'm with Brito Charette. We're an interior design firm located in Wynwood, Florida. We specialize in high-end residential, although we are licensed to do any type of work. Welcome to my home, where today I happen to be the client. Designer Jay Brito created a beautiful and unique modern space that truly reflects downtown Miami living. And we're going to check that out next on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Today we are joining you from downtown Miami, touring an amazing townhome on the 49th floor of a high rise. What makes this so special is that this is the designer's own home. So get prepared to see some beautiful designs. This two story townhouse has a total of 1800 square feet, one bedroom, two bathrooms, and a den. This 49th floor home welcomes these grand views through floor to ceiling windows. The unit was designed to maximize the views from both levels. Jay, welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. We're excited to have you here, and today is special because this is your very own place. Yes. And we're so excited when to have designers be able to show their own homes. We learn so much more about your design style for you personally. Right. So let's take a seat and talk more about this beautiful place. I, I love this sort of you know two-story open living area. Yes. The walls and everything, you have a, such a nice mix of textures. Uh, it's wall covering and millwork. They see you clad the walls all the way up. Tell us about this process. They had a structural column which is like about 48 inches wide. Now I, I have to make this disappear. Plus we, um, we need an addition of storage. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna clad this entire thing, which is I had to cover with wood and then mimic the same column on the other side. So that would be an empty column that I'm designing. So that would serve for storage. So I have 22 ceiling Love that heights, it goes all so, the way right, up. So I have a lot of storage now. So this is all storage all the way up. So you bring in that high Go ladder down. and you can get all the way up to the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really truly maximizing every inch of space. What we did in this place, uh, it's something that I do for all my clients. So this is kind of like a reflection of what I do for a living. I like the neutral palettes. I like, you know, and you're going to see the accents throughout. It's actually, I have it with art, books, textiles here and there. You know, you add color to it. A couple of years from now, I can change things around. Absolutely. So it gives yourself, and when you do it for your clients, the flexibility to really yeah. change up the feel of the room with just a little changing up of the accessories. Right. Now, speaking of the art, what's behind us is actually quite beautiful. This was actually uh, two years ago during uh, Munich uh, Oktoberfest. After drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration uh, struck. Yes, yes. We're outside and we're like, all right, because you have like the roller coasters and everything yeah, around. Yeah, all the, the carnival park, rides. Right? Yes, yes. I love taking photos. I was like, you know, I'm going to shoot this because I love the way it's moving. I love the color. The skies are blue. Quite beautiful. And the scale and the size is so nice with this high ceiling height. Right. It's also about how you frame them. So if you've noticed, you know, I added the, you know, the board the whiteboard and then the, the, the way I framed it, it has the same color as throughout the theme. Ties it all in. Right, so it's 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 just a putting it together and it, it could look beautiful. It's stunning and, and that's a really great tip because for, for viewers at home too, using personal photos and, and getting the right framing and getting the right scale, sometimes the hardest part is finding the right size art to fit in a space. Right, and when it. you create it, you have the control to make it fit perfectly. Yes, absolutely. And I love the way you bought in all the colors, um, especially with the little snail uh, sculpture over there. It's, yeah. There's a lot of fun pieces that you've put in throughout. I, I purposely dressed to match. <laughs> so Jay, I've noticed that your living room is huge. Um, I didn't see a dining room. Is that for a reason or do you prefer larger living spaces? Actually, in our practice, um, when we have apartments or condo living situation, uh, the first thing that goes out is the dining room. A formal dining room is hardly ever used. So Absolutely. what we usually do is we do an extension out of the kitchen with a table, attached table, or we make the kitchen island either deeper so you can have stools right next to it. I don't know if you notice that when you invite people to your home, they usually gather in the kitchen. Everyone gathers in the right. kitchen. Yes. 
by eliminating the dining room, then you have that space that is left for a bigger living room. So you can entertain more people and that's the area where you actually, if you have more than five people coming over, then you can use it. And also for the daily basis, so you have the bigger living room, which is, it's a no brainer. I love that and I think the kind of the feel of this open entertaining area, your kitchen's right there. So as you entertain, you have this great flow of space and then you could have this beautiful large sofa, yeah. which is, <laughs> I love the houndstooth fabric. For my own home, I, I like to design because I know my lifestyle and I know things. I mean, just a regular table, a cluster of tables, it just doesn't work for me. I know what I want. And I think that's great because the scale of the sofa height, it's a little bit of a lower height sofa, your table height. Might as well just make it Absolutely. from scratch. Is this an extension of the sofa or is that like act as a side table? It's a very cool piece. Uh, that is actually a seat table. You can pull it out, you can move it around. And you Multiple can, yes. use. But I use it as a headrest. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how it doubles as that. It's it works, right? Perfect flow of space, I love it. And I think the one thing that we haven't discussed in this room that is the most obvious and beautiful thing right. is this light above us. You know what, selling this to our clients is kind of hard because they don't, they don't see it when you show them the photo. But I'm like, you know what, I saw it at the show in Milan this April and I was like, I gotta have it. With the ceiling height, it's just a stunning piece. It's sculptural. Anything that we were put in there it had to be something really sleek, modern, and linear. So once you're upstairs in the second floor, it doesn't block your view. Just perfectly fills the whole room. Yeah. It really looks beautiful. Coming up next, this room is not only multifunctional, but can transform before your eyes. I'm Takron Auto with FHIA, and we're in the middle of a construction site, and we're gonna speak to the homeowners to see how everything's going on today's SoFla Home Project. Welcome back to Sofla Home Project. We're continuing our tour of this beautiful downtown Miami townhome designed by Jay Brito of Brito Charette and is also your personal home. Yes, it is. And this space is sort of, it feels like a den, but does it have other uses as well? Because I'm seeing a desk. Yes, actually it has uh, multiple uses. At the front of the townhome, there's an open space that could be considered a den. Jay transformed it into a TV room slash office slash guest room. It's truly a versatile space. This could be for friends that they want to crash. They, they're not allowed to stay here for more than a week. <laughs> it's <laughs> so that's a, why it kind of feels like a den when you walk in. Yes, it is. Actually, there are sofa beds out there and there are uh, day beds type of thing that they are kind of comfortable, but this is actually a full-size mattress. So around the full-size mattress, I designed the sofa. You fully upholstered over the mattress, so this is just a removable cover. Yes, so we made it super deep, so we just, just throw ourselves there. Here's where we watch TV. Very nice, and I love the fur accents, and right. you've brought in a lot of textures in here. See? Yes, it's the same concept pretty much what we have like with the sofa in the living room. We have the hide, which is the same color. And this table is beautiful. This side table, it has the hide accent that you were speaking of. So I love the way you tied in the millwork that we saw in the formal living room all the way into this desk and um, sort of storage unit. And so the millwork continues down the hallway, sort of bridging these two. It does. But there's some pretty cool stuff behind that that we're going to get to see right after we check out what Project Tech Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates has for us today. I'm Tech Granada with FHIA and today we're in the middle of a large installation. We're going to go inside and speak with the homeowners to see why they trusted FHIA and how everything's going. Let's go on inside and take a look. So I know we're right in the middle of the installation, so how great has everything been going so far? It's been uh, good. Uh, the uh, installators are very professional, very clean. They cover everything. They move the stuff and uh, uh, they take care of everything and it's uh, good. It has been very good. I know a question that I'm asked a lot and we hear it all the time is, you know, what can we do as a family while the work's going on and does, does the family have to leave the home during the installation? So I know your family's been here. How's it been for them living through this construction? They clean up everything. so. Uh, that make it easy for us to, to stay in the house while they keep working on and, uh, and they plan ahead they plan ahead the everything. part of the house that they are going mm -hmm. to work and then they cover it so we can move throughout the house and it's not been like um, that complicated right. they're very good 
I know it's only been a couple days now, but what do you think is the biggest change that you've seen so far with the product? The house looks uh, fresh. When it's raining, there is uh, basically no sound coming in. And I guess in a hurricane, that would be something good for us because nobody gets scared with the noise of the hurricane. What was the biggest thing that uh, helped you make the decision? The warranties, the quality of product, the uh, look of the house is going to be a lot better. And besides that, the economy in terms of uh, insurance and uh, energy, energy efficiency. One of the things I learned while speaking with the homeowners about going through this process and all the different opportunities they had to go with other contractors, one thing that stood out was they were really impressed with the education that was provided to them in helping them make this decision. That a lot of companies they met with prior to meeting with us didn't show them anything, really didn't go over all the different options, and the fact that they had the opportunity to really see a lot of different products, have somebody in their home that was really engaged in helping them make the best decision for their home and their family was really important to them and something that really stood out. So we're really proud that that was their experience. It was really great having the opportunity to talk to the homeowners and find out exactly how things were going through their eyes. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So now we're continuing looking at this amazing space that I think, Jay, you've managed to really maximize the square footage. The way I design is fully integrated. I usually try not to use handles. So that applies for many areas in the house um, that I designed. So when you look at it, it just looks simple and plain and simplicity. I mean, it, uh, less is more. I do believe in that. This area consists of two towers. So in this area is only for our guests. Uh, so this is for hanging clothes and then you have your drawers to organize your clothes if you're traveling. Perfect, so but just like a hotel setup. You've right, given you're not everything. here for a month. <laughs> okay. This is the short stay Two, three closet. Days is perfect, yeah. So just the right is, amount you know, of space. So here's for storage. We really don't uh, do much work here, but uh, and and then your you printer, have the file, printer, everything. and all that stuff so, in here. So yeah, so again, all those things, I mean, they're super functional, the way that we keep trays. our things. It's good extra storage for flexible storage yes. for wherever you need it. This area of the dresser, uh, also you have three drawers, no handles, pull yep, from the no bottom. Hand it will, right. will we find a handle anywhere in this house? <laughs> no. Uh, probably not. <laughs> so behind here we have, uh, there's just a door also, there's a speaker, there's a uh, sound bar. And it adds another decorative element. Right. Perfect. So now this fully closes off. Right. So you do have this little door that opens up, which pulls the, the drapery to enclose this entire room. It gives Perfect. you soundproof. And so the, the also the material that we selected for the drapery, it's a, it's a heavy material that you don't need to line it with the black hour. It's anything. a double sided. So, as right, well. so it's already uh, heavy enough that gives you uh, a sense of privacy. So you have your closed room, and now as we continue down the hall, you said some things open, some yes. have hidden doors. You have two doors you have uh, the full bathroom, uh, and also you have the uh, laundry room. But you you would know that it's no, there. I, I had no idea there was anything there. I'm walking down this beautiful panel hallway. Very Pretty nice. Pretty much everything. So. so fully functional as a guest room when need be. Right. Home office and also where you just hang out and watch right. TV. Next, on SoFlo Home Project, we go up to the loft, which feels like a treehouse in the sky. Hi, it's Spiro from Good Greek Moving and Storage. And here's a few reasons why you should hire a professional mover rather than relying on friends and family on moving day. Professional movers are gonna have the proper training and equipment to handle your move. Professional movers also have experience in loading the truck properly, driving the truck, and of course, packing and delivering the items safely. Hiring friends and family is nice, but they're not always reliable. Professional movers will also take the precautions of protecting your furniture for a safe move. But if something should happen, professional movers offer you full replacement insurance. Whether you're moving your home or business, call Star Star Greek for Good Greek Moving and Storage, your superhero movers. Welcome back to Soflo Home Project. We're back here with Jay from Brito Charette. We are continuing our tour on the second level of this beautiful townhome in downtown Miami. The master suite takes up the entire second level and overlooks the first. There's something very fun about sleeping in a loft space, especially when it's open to these views. 
So the vibe of this space, it also has a little bit of almost a hotel-like feel, but in terms of the bringing in sort of the, the still the neutral tones. For the most part, what I applied on the walls looks like textile, but the wallpaper, it's actually a little darker than what I usually do. So in your own home, completely different. Yes. It's beautiful. And yes. I feel like it gives a very cozy feel to the space too. Yes, it is actually. It has a more of a masculine feel to it Absolutely. as well. Yeah. And then I think it's balanced out so nicely by, of course, all of this light and bright, yes. you know, coming in from the views. Yes. Every piece of furniture here, like the bed and all that stuff, I had to design and uh, it was custom made for specifically for the space. The same thing with the, the dresser. This area, more than anything, is just when you're getting ready, it's great just to sit down. It's a great space. You have somewhere to sit, yeah. Right, so which is good. And also additional storage for, that's when you find the the, the actual this pull This is the, oh, we have found yeah. the yeah. only handles in yeah. the entire townhome, yes. right here. Everything else is just millwork. And again, working with the mirrors. Uh, Lots and, of great use of yeah. mirrors in here. Yeah. Speaking of the view though, tell us about the window treatments that make this go from gorgeous views to privacy. Right, so I had to have a blackout, although I never used a blackout. <laughs> so the blackout is just there whenever you need privacy. When I go to bed, I, I like to see the city lights. So in reality, I get to use this like probably, since I moved here, probably twice. Oh wow, yeah. but what I, what I love about the spaces here is that you've created all of them that they sort of, you could have them completely open and then yeah. Each of the little areas sort of close off, like the den as well as yes. as up here, and then it's completely private. Yes. And I love that when you can look down, you enjoy this light fixture, which oh, it's beautiful. It's like yeah. art. <laughs> <laughs> it creates such a cool pattern against the view. It does. I, I like it. It. Uh, I, I think it's a perfect fixture for it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's an open box, so privacy-wise, <laughs> so lots of views, <laughs> lots of open spaces. <laughs> right. Yes. So it, it is nice, actually. It's stunning and I, I love the way it kind of keeps the room almost like this very open feel. Yes, it does. Imagine if that the shower was in there, uh, if it was blocked, yeah. then you would have a narrow, pretty much alley going. Yeah, it would down. feel kind of tight and, and right. more channeled like in that long hallway. This right. gives the openness of a, a very big expanse master suite. It does. We've seen the beautiful views from every room of this house. Next up, join us as we head outside. Welcome back. We're here at the final stop of our tour, which is the terrace. The best views are right out here. This is where you live and enjoy that. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, I know. It's such a wonderful space. Do you get a chance to really enjoy the space or only when the weather's cool? Oh, no, no. We use it a lot, actually. We have uh, a group of friends. Uh, you know who you are. <laughs> so we usually gather here. We eat. And we also dance here. <laughs> like oh, so this is a party <laughs> space too. This is a party space. Yes. This is a, a relaxing space. That's awesome. So you yeah. truly do bring, like, live outdoors in it. Yeah, it's an extension uh, yeah. from our living room. Well, it's yeah. great because the floor continues. So when you see it, it'll actually just as one yes. great extension. Um, pretty much like the grays that follow through and the whites. So uh, why not? And greens around. Lots of greens, yeah. and I do love that. Yeah. It brings a little nice touches. Your seating configuration is nice. Yes. And, uh, yeah, anyone is oversaturated with uh, seating. Uh, because of all the dancing that yes. happens out here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess everything's easy to move. And yes. in South Florida, we need easy to move outdoor furniture. It's a great space. I love it. The signature uh, thing about this building, it's a light box. It has a rectangular box. So it's a light box. We are inside of the light box right now. So we are, this is, it's so distinct. I've seen yeah. the building at night. Since we're in the light box, it extends out another eight feet. So you have doubled the depth of the actual terrace for this building. Now I know exactly where we are. <laughs> Such a cool fact. What I like about living downtown, it's the uh, proximity to pretty much to everything from here. So you have Brickle, you have South Beach, you have Wynwood you have the design district, and you have the airport. Everything is within five to 15 minutes max. So, I mean, you can beat that. And the views, of course, they're amazing. Jay, thank you so much for joining us today and showing us your beautiful home, the outside, the inside, all of it is stunning. Thank you, thank you for having me again.
Thank you, and I hope the viewers at home really got a chance to enjoy this beautiful space. We'll see you next week right here on Soplo Home Project. If you missed any part of this home tour, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoploHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we get permission to come aboard to experience the yachting lifestyle. See what it takes to design the interior spaces of this floating home. <laughs>